Much has been said in the past uh, few days, and understandably so, about the mess that was that Queensland lockdown. Now relax, I'm not about to give you 25 minutes of what you have already heard. But the bloke who is close to the A-grade clown of Australian politics is the Deputy Premier in Queensland, the bloke who would take over if Anastasia Palaszczuk decided to pull the pin. And as much as I dislike Queen Palaszczuk, I hope she never pulls the pin if this bloke ends up being the Premier of Queensland. How's this for an almighty example of what I have said the whole way through, that the purpose of the Queensland Government between now and the federal election is to bash the federal government, hoping that people won't vote LNP at the next federal election in Queensland. The Prime Minister will continue to try to uh, use the vaccine rollout and, uh, and COVID more generally to distract from the government's other problems. That's been a very orchestrated campaign over the last few days to try to stop you all talking about Brittany Higgins and rape and sexual harassment and all of the things that have happened in Canberra. Uh, they were, in fact, uh, so eager to distract uh, everybody from those topics uh, that they, they put at risk confidence in their own uh, vaccine rollout program. Now, what I find most offensive about this flog is that he was giving information about an extreme weather event that at one point had been described as potentially life-threatening. Yet, distraction politics is the way that they think that they can move the needle in Queensland. Fingers crossed that the quiet Australians won't buy it. But if you want to talk about distraction, as you know, in the past week, they locked down all of Brisbane for the best part of uh, three days. They destroyed tourism and people as far away as Cairns and Mount Isa had to wear masks, despite the fact that bugger all cases had existed. Of course, the reason why they had to have the lockdown, you want to talk about distracting Deputy Premier? It was because your government failed to make sure that everyone, particularly doctors, had got the vaccine. It was a healthcare professional that ended up taking the vaccine, taking the uh, disease out of hotel quarantine and slowly seeping it into the community. The AMA, the Medical Association in Queensland, said that more than 40% of doctors have not, repeat, have not been vaccinated by the Queensland government, despite the fact that they've had tens of thousands of vaccines to do so. You want to talk about distracting, Deputy Premier. What about just two weeks ago when she who must be obeyed said that there would be no more lockdowns for Brisbane because the contact tracing system was so damn good? But then we learn only over the weekend that the system that's been in place for months since August last year in New South Wales where contact tracing apps are mandatory for things like pubs, cafes and restaurants... But in Queensland, it was only at the end of March. You want to talk about distraction, Premier? Or Deputy Premier, I should say. You are the one who is practising it. But of course, you know that any sort of fight between state and federal government ends up being major news. You having to account for something that she who must be obeyed said two weeks ago would never have to happen in the lead up to Easter. Also, you could make the end of JobKeeper even more devastating to, for the people of Queensland. Therefore, all economic problems are not yours, despite the fact that your government had promised and won re-election of a promise to have an unemployment rate above national average until the middle of this year. Pull the other one, it plays jingle bells. But this time last week, we were in Cairns. I had the time of my life hanging out with the good people of that city. And I'm pleased to say that those discount airfares were incredibly popular just this weekend over Easter, an extra 75,000 people took our lead and went to Cairns for their Easter holiday. It is a magnificent place to go, and that's the information that we got today, jet skis and all, about how many people actually went to Cairns this weekend. So well done to those tourism operators who, no thanks to their state government, were able to get a little bit more money coming through the door. Great city. Richo Smiler, mini editorial in the main one. We'll get to his thoughts in a moment or two's time. Can't be perfect. Well, they got Warren Inch, of course, at the federal level. I'm happy with that trade-off.